Okay, <clears throat> so I decided to start painting some of my paintings on camera because somebody on YouTube doesn't believe that these are my paintings, which I think is ridiculous. So, we're going to uh, do some of this painting here for you. This is one of the pieces going to be at the show. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay. So, this is what I call like a contemporary art piece. This is like a, um, this is one of my pieces I came up with on the fly. I kind of like this one. This one has a very special meaning. Um, and you'll see when I'm done, when I actually put it on the wall, like the rest of my paintings. And I described to you what this is all about. I'm not going to give it away yet. So what I'm doing now is I'm just filling it in, just lightly, just to get that part started. And now we're going to start the other side, the other color. Because I'm doing two colors at once right now. This is a beautiful blue color. One of my favorites. Some people call this a peacock blue. I'm just filling it in to give it a nice big stark color so it feels so it's filled in and after that I'm gonna do some detail work on this bad boy okay now unfortunately let let that dry a bit so I can do a couple more coats on there So the idea behind this is that we're filling it in, giving it a good quality coat. So it's very thick. <laughs> and as soon as this dries, we'll do a last coat. Might have to do two coats, we'll see. I want it to be a pretty stark color. Actually, no, I'm going to stop this. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait. We're going to come back. We're going to save this paint. We're going to redo those two shapes one last time. Then we're going to work on the purple. In fact, maybe I'll do the purple quickly now. And then we'll come back. Give each one a second coat. What we're just doing is trying to fill in this shade. And the reason why we paint everything white first, especially on our dark black canvas, well, it's black because I painted it black, but the reason why we go over top of black with white, where we're going to put our shapes or our colors, is because these colors would not show up on black. Like, they just won't show up. It has to be a white background. That's why all canvases, when you buy them, they start off as white, because it needs that illumination underneath in order to bring out the true color of the paint. So, we start by doing that. But because I wanted it to be such a stark image, I decided to go with a black canvas, which means I had to paint that white canvas that I previously bought and make it black. And then, that's the nice thing too, is when you work with your canvas you can use the opposite color as a correction 
Like for instance, if I find that I went out of these lines too much, like these lines are just a boundary, they're just a, a, like a guideline for me. They're not meant to be perfection, nothing really is in painting. But if I say went way over the line and I didn't like it, I can use black now to correct it by just doing a simple little correction along the edges of the line. And it's virtually, it's virtually um, inadmissible by the eye. You usually don't even pick up on it. But it's like an artist trick. It's meant to be, it's, it's not really a trick, it's just that this is what artists do. If they want to make a particular line, a particular shape, and they've gotten a little bit out of their own boundaries because they'll you know the paint was too wet that day or they're a little shaky that day from too much coffee or whatever you can do corrections with the opposite color of your canvas okay we're going to upload this one and then we'll be back in a little while to uh finish off the second coat and then once i do the second coat uh maybe i'll show you how to do those corrections <laughs>